Greetings friends, strangers, observers, random lost souls, and any potential, quote unquote, cool cobras. Fear not, I am not planning on covering Joshi here on a full-time basis. However, I am the kind of bot who, upon seeing a meatbag in the process of actively killing himself, feels a need to, at the very least, ask them not to. It's a little known fact that bots can care for meatbags. Even meatbags they are not bound to. Because life is precious, and there's a damn good chance this is our one and only whack at it. So when I see what you're about to see, it's a no-brainer. My meatbag says watching this made his heart hurt. He also says you're unlikely to listen to me, so we're calling in our Bodlem Enforcer. So, this is the meatbag who either failed to care for or actively killed his bearded dragon. King Cobra JFS, I have come here to tell you exactly how I feel about what you're doing to yourself. I think it's fucking great. As a bot originally programmed for assassin, uh, uh, assessing the uh, um, needs of meatbags like yourself, I can tell you're doing my job for me. It might not be as efficient as I would like, but it's certainly going to be a slow and painful ride to your eventual great gig in the sky, so to speak. Anyway, let's watch you work. Stay here, work! Quick side note to the audience. Maybe it's his slow speech, or the fact that he literally communicates nothing useful. Either way, as bots with ADHD, we need Joshi here to get to the point. We also want to get through the really gross parts as quickly as possible. For everyone's sake. Add onion, extra two slices of American cheese, extra two slices of Asiago cheese, dig it. Good for you, meat sack. That bacon cheeseburger didn't come with enough cholesterol. Adding four more slices of saturated fat sure goes a long way to fix that little oversight. We're gonna make a uh, baconator food hack for you, cool cobras. Not a cheese burrito. And hold it right there, Joshy boy. First and perhaps foremost, my meat bag says he's heard you say you do, in fact, tip. If that is true, you could shut up everyone who says you do not by simply showing what you did tip. Personally, he might be willing to give you the benefit of the doubt, but I know you're a greedy little cobra. Why tip the assholes who delivered you a bunch of shit you didn't ask for at your old place? Right. Second note. As a droid with no oral orifice, I do not eat. However, I have observed my meat bag and dozens of others stuff food into their oral cavities. Chips, Josh, are a side dish unless they're somehow cooked in with the food. All you're doing here is putting your side dish on your main course. Has it ever occurred to you that, with the chips on the side, one could take a bite of the burger and then put a chip or two into their food hole as well? This way, you aren't forced to eat your side dish with every bite. Those, set those to the side. You know, this uh, bacon, like I said, I love the pretzel bacon from Wendy's. That baconator is hot and fresh. I'm gonna add some uh, nacho cheese Doritos. Fuck the methanol and fuck the ghost. We're gonna add Doritos on top. And then we're gonna add another thing to it. These garlic -like parmesan uh, nuggets from Wendy's are really good. I had some the other night and they were quite, quite delicious. Open them up. Those stick. Come on top. Freeze, meat sack. I just realized something my meat bag has already talked about applies here. What is in the damn terrarium? Josh! You might think you're clever, covering up part of it to hide what you've got in there. But you've made one serious miscalculation, Cobes. You don't need a terrarium setup complete with a heat lamp to store random garbage in. Empty terrariums and fish tanks go into a closet or some other kind of storage. Not this one! Why? You've either already got, or are planning to get, a replacement for Pop! There is no logical reason to store this here, unless you need access to some kind of living thing living inside! I don't care if you've got a cockroach in there. It deserves better than you. 
His voice is starting to annoy me, so I'm gonna kill it. We don't need to hear him anyway. Just watch what he does to this food. I know you probably really need to hear about all the extra sauce he's planning to put on. He certainly seemed to think so anyway. Well, screw him, in fact. Let's get this shit over with as fast as possible. Faster! Now watch as he proceeds to dump on a few hundred, maybe even a thousand or so more calories, onto his disaster in progress. Note how focused he is on getting every last bit of saturated fat and sugar by licking the damn wrappers. Then marvel as he sops up the extra greasy stuff at the bottom with his finger and slurps it down too. This guy must actively want to know what a heart attack feels like. My meat bag can tell you, it fucking sucks! I took four screenshots to illustrate the obvious damage you're doing to yourself here. And let me tell you, it's fantastic. First up, look at you there, licking up more ranch. What the hell is wrong with you, boy? Look at you sweat. You're not doing any work. Yet there you are, leaking like a basketball player who has been running up and down the court for five minutes or so. You just fucking ate! Eating should not be that much of an effort. When I look into those cold, dead eyes of yours, Cobes, I see a little boy who wants to be known for something good. Sweating to the foodies and following it up with a small vat of booze and cream soda ain't the way to do it, Josh. Here, you look like you're actually having a heart attack. Look at that posture and your glaze of sweat. Buddy, my meat bag looked just like that when they had to come and save his ass a few years ago. And he's more than a decade older than you! For the love of Clint, Stop doing this to yourself, and rehome whatever you've got in the terrarium. Rest in peace, Puff! Seriously, Josh, if life gave out report cards, you'd be looking at a load of Ds and Fs. It might, emphasis on might, not be too late to turn it around. Think about it, Josh. Thank you all for watching. More Raxo stuff coming right up.